What's poppin' y'all? It's your girl Princess Tommy and I'm back today with a brand new video. Yeah. Sorry if the quality is giving iPhone because I ran out of storage on my camera. You already know what today is Tuesday. I'm back with a girl talk for y'all. School is coming around slowly but surely, and I know y'all ready for the back to school videos. So today I will be talking about how to survive high school, meaning drama, boys, girl, grades, popularity. I personally don't go to school until September the 6th, but I know some of y'all that don't live in the state that I live in, y'all go to school like next month, like like soon. My first segment that I'm gonna hit is drama. You are going to encounter drama, whether it's with you personally or someone you know. You're going to see drama, you're going to witness it. You may even be the victim of some drama. Stay out of it as best as you can, even though it's gonna be hard for you. Make sure you yourself isn't the one causing the drama. You're not starting no drama, you're not feeding into no drama. You don't want to be the person that's always starting stuff. You always into something. Drama comes in many different forms, whether it's with your grades, whether it's about a boy, a girl, or anything, especially in high school, because people be having a lot of problems with a lot of different people for different stupid reasons. But that's high school. That's going to happen. It's just things people want not like about you. Drama ain't cute. If anybody tell you that drama is cute, stay away from them, because they're going to be the ones that turn on you for the drama. If I could redo my ninth and my 10th grade all over again, I would because I wouldn't hang with certain people that I hung out with. I wouldn't have done the things that I did because it did get me in a lot of trouble. And I was labeled as a troublemaker, even though I'm not, but it looked that way because I was always doing something I had no business doing. Just take my advice from someone who, you know, learned from experience and just telling y'all to stay out of drama no matter what kind of drama it is. Drama itself, the word is a headache dating in high school i want to say is a learning experience some people say just wait until you're out of high school and um i don't personally believe in that theory because i feel as though when you date someone you learn like your worth you learn what you're good at what you're not good at you learn what you want what you don't want you just learn from experience. No, nope. somebody can tell you something. Like I could give y'all this information, and y'all still don't listen because you have to witness it yourself to actually learn the situation. People told me a bunch of stuff. Don't do this. Do that. But I wouldn't listen until I like I felt like I had to do it so I can you know learn from that situation. And I did. Dating in high school is cool and all, but just don't be dating anybody and just be dating everybody like get to know the person you're dating if it doesn't work out you learn like what you don't want in a guy what you don't want in a girl it's fine to date in high school like a lot of people do it all the freaking time and some people actually do end up with the person they were dating in high school and some people don't you should never let the person you dating distract you from your school break though when you start skipping class missing school to go be with them and all that stuff is just not okay school comes first if your partner can't accept that you gotta go to school and do school work they not the one for you off the bricks you're gonna meet a lot of people in high school like i mean a lot a lot of different people and you're gonna think they're your friends like y'all can be this like y'all can be like this in high school literally like this them people that you like this with right now they're all not going to be your friends when you get out of high school. That's just the way life works. Everybody not going to always be your friend. They probably with you for the moment. They probably with you because what you have. That's just the way it is. So people you calling your best friend right now or your friends and y'all doing all this stuff together, y'all nine times out of ten all not going to be together in the future. And if y'all do, peace be upon you. I guarantee you, you're going to lose friends as you get older. Trust me, it happened to me, and I thought that, you know, I would never lose friends. But I did. Ain't nothing I can do about it. I mean, I wish you the best. You wish me the best, and we go our separate ways. See you when I see you. You may not be the popular kid in school. You may think you want to be the person that is popular in school, but I trust, trust me, you don't. Me, personally, I was one of, like, you know, the popular kids in school, or, like, everybody knew who I was. 
when I like would do something that wasn't good or something like that, and people would find out, they would know who I am. So don't try to like make yourself known in school for like doing the wrong things or the right things. Just you know, stay to yourself. If you become like one of them popular kids, watch everything you do. Because whenever you do something wrong, them people are waiting for you to slip up. Matter if it's like it's really small stuff, but they just waiting for you to slip up so they can run their mouth. People want high school talk. Everything in high school spreads around like Wi-Fi quick. Trust me, I've seen it happen to myself. So, everything that spreads like Wi-Fi nowadays in high school. Kids are rude. They're mean. They don't care. So uh, everyone that's going to high school or people that's already in high school, if you transfer in high school, like just get ready for all of this stuff because high school is not easy one bit. No matter what school you go to, it's going to be someone that don't like you, somebody that wants you to fail, someone that wants to harm you. It's You're never going to go to a place where it's just good vibes and like everybody is so nice because even, with, even if they're giving off that energy, I guarantee you, they're thinking about some wild thoughts that's not good. Don't try to make yourself like, you know, fit in just because you feel like you don't want to be alone or anything. Me, when I was in high school, my first year, girl... I was so, like, corny and a mess. But, like, you know what? I just cooled it by myself. I met the people that I met. And then that was just that. I never, like, really tried to fit in with people because that's not me. I don't try to fit in. I be myself and whatever happens, it just happens. Like, people that try to fit in too hard, you be the big. Like, people be talking about you, talking about somehow. Oh, look at her. Look at him trying to fit in so bad. Like, they trying too hard. Like, don't be that person that's trying too hard to fit in with people. Oh, also, freshmen, I think I already said this or something. Do not date upperclassmen. All right, freshmen and 10th grade, that's fine. 10th, 9th, and 11th, mm. with 9th and 12th, that's not okay. They to get out of there. They getting ready to go to college. They getting ready to leave you, do whatever they got to do. They do not care about you, your little freshman year. You're like, what's that? How old like, 14, 15? 14, 15, and they like, what, 17, 18? Trust me, they do not care about you. Don't put even put yourself in that predicament when a senior is trying to talk to you. If you one day in high school, they somebody, whether in your grade or the grade above you, not two grades above you, because trust, they is not it. You also want to counter a moment in your life when you are walking down the steps or you just walking past a bunch of boys and you like the only girl, you're going to feel really awkward. Like, really, really awkward because, like, they're going to be all looking at you. You're just going to be like, okay, I just want to get to my destination quickly. When you encounter a moment like that, and they're going to try and talk to you. Like, I promise you, they're going to be like, hey, they shot it, you damn, or whatever they're going to say. Ignore it. Don't say anything. Don't react. Just ignore it. Boys going to be boys. They're going to do childish little stuff like that. So when I never had, like, encountered a moment like that, girl, I kick it. I make sure I... I pull out my phone or something or I like I'm on the phone and I get past like I don't care what you gotta say don't wonder what you gotta say none of that stuff grades my favorite portion it is possible to get good grades in high school people think that it's not possible to get good grades and it's so hard it's not if you fail high school I think that you are like, you're either not trying or you just refuse to be great. High school is not that hard. It's always good to make relationships with your teachers because my teacher, my old teacher, um, I had did an assignment. No, no, yeah, I had did an assignment. I guess she, like, lost it or whatever. So she had gave me a zero for it, and I was like, hey, you gave me a zero for this assignment. I did it. Can you look for it? And she was like, it's okay, so I'm not even worry about it. I know you be doing your work. You always turn your work in. I'll just give you the points for it. So I'm like, cool, like, because we had that good relationship. She knew what I was capable of, but I always turned in my work. Like, don't you don't want to be the student that's always going back and forth with teachers and just st this stuff like that. Like, this stuff is not cool. Like, I hate students, like, students that are just disrespectful to their teachers. Like, I know some teachers be stepping out their blade sometimes because I had to humble some teachers real quick as well. But, like, if you're just being disrespectful to teachers, trying to be funny, not from 10th grade, yeah, it was a little kiki, a ha-ha. Once you get older, like, certain stuff is just corny and, like, you just shouldn't be doing, like, you're childish, like, grow up already. 
that's pretty much like you know how to survive high school again like i said you really won't know until you actually become in that situation but don't be worried about it high school is not as scary as people say it is it's a lot of life lessons and it's way different than middle school like it's nothing like middle school grown people 19 20 years old in high school trying to pass uh, people looking way older than what they supposed to look. It's just teachers don't care. Ain't no more single foul line. You got to find your own classes, find where you're going. You know, just make sure you're on top of your A game. You late for class, throw your late pass and come back to my class. Or you get caught in the hall seat where you get detention, like stuff like that. So, just get mentally prepared. If you mentally prepare yourself for high school, you'll be okay. Just stay off the way and mind your business. Make the little friends you have. Keep them close to you or whatever. Y'all may fall out in the future, but hey, them just your high school buddies anyway. Because by the time, listen, by the time everybody graduate, nobody is going to care. Like what you doing or what he doing or what she doing or what she didn't doing. Like everybody should be different one thing and that's education. Everybody is not, but you know. And coming freshmen, stay on top of y'all air game your first year. You mess up your first two years of high school, you're pretty much effed up. <laughs> because... Once 11th grade come around, them colleges don't really care about that stuff. Before. They care about your life in your 10th grade year. If you miss assignments or stuff like that, go do the makeup work. Go retake the assignments. Like, I used to think that all that stuff wouldn't pile up. Girl, that stuff started to pile up. And I had to, you know, get all that stuff done. Makeup work is important. Turning assignments in on time is very, you know what? I gotta, this is gonna be for my high school advice. <laughs> I'm gonna just stop talking right now and close video out. Thank y'all for watching today's video. I will see y'all in the next Girl Talk with Tommy. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, as well as follow me on all my social medias, which are always linked down in the description box below. As well, you will see them in three, two, one.